in this video series um, I'm going to be removing the transmission in this 2002 Mitsubishi Lancer. Alright so as you can see some of these parts of the engine are not stock. Uh, the guy before me did some mods to it. So I'm going to remove this intake assembly and I'm going to unplug the mass airflow sensor. Remove this vacuum line. Now this should just come off. Okay, next we're going to remove the battery. Let's take this battery tray out of here. The little clip right here. There we go. Next, we have the transmission wiring harness right here. Yeah, like that. We also have another harness um, next to the shift selector. All right, we're going to connect, uh, disconnect the shift cable next. It looks like you can adjust it. So I'm going to mark this to where the middle of the nut is with a file. I'm just going to thread that back on so I don't have to keep track of it. Okay, the next thing we need to do is remove both axles from the transmission. So I'm going to take the wheel off. Okay, I'm going to remove the caliper, so the 17 up top. caliper should just come off. Gonna hook it on the strut. Alright, gotta remove the axle nut. This is already loose because um, I removed the axle nut recently. Next we got the tie rod. to hit what it goes through and it comes off easy because I just took this stuff off recently. Okay, strut bolts are next, both 19s on each side. So I should be able to get this axle out now. Um, I'm just gonna put a bolt through here so it doesn't hang on the ball joint. There. Alright, so here's where the axle goes into the transmission. So I'm just going to put a pry bar behind it. And you want a quick jerking motion. There we go. Okay, next, uh, we're going to drain the transmission of fluid. There we go. See all that gook? 
on the drain plug, this is a magnet. And this catches all the gook. There, I cleaned it off. You can see the difference. Okay, so this side is going to be the exact same thing, so I'm just going to breeze through it. to pretty much um, put a chain around the axle and then um, put a bolt through it so it wouldn't fall out. Take the other side of the chain and put it on something heavy like that big crowbar and just keep uh, swinging the crowbar until it pops out. There we go and you can see um, that I just put a bolt through it on the other side so that the chain wouldn't come out. Alright, next we have the starter motor. Uh, it's held in by two bolts right here. Alright, so what I'm doing is um, just leaving all the connections to the starter attached and I'm just holding it up with wire so that when we drop the transmission um, it's not going to be dangling. Alright, so we're, next we're going to disconnect <clears throat> the transmission cooler lines. They're 19 millimeter. We got a banjo bolt. <clears throat> Okay, so um, there. when I follow these cooler lines back, they're also connected to these two rubber hoses right here. So I took those off, and then there was a, a bolt that held it onto the mount right there. I took that off, and then there was also a bolt that held it onto the transmission up here, and I took that off. So now we can take the lines uh, off, but it's important to grab these washers. Uh, or at least they don't lose them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these lines out. And then I'm going to thread back in the banjo bolts so that I don't have to keep track of the bolts and I don't have to keep track of the washers. Okay, so in preparation for when we remove the transmission mounts, I'm um, going to put an engine support bar across so we can hold up the one side of the engine attached to the transmission. Okay, so the transmission is on this side of the engine, and that's the side that um, the mounts we're going to disconnect from. So we only need to hold up this side. So I'm going to put this through the, through the little hook there. Up for this, and then let's go tighten this up. All right. All right. Next, I'm going to disconnect um, the torque converter from the engine. So we go underneath the where uh, the car with the engine transmission mate and we see this little plate here Oops, it's held on by two tens just gotta take those off and then the plate will come off and now if we look in um, we see 
the back of the flywheel and we see these little holes here. We're gonna, so what we're going to do is we're going to rotate the engine until we see the bolts, remove the bolts, and then um, the transmission will be disconnected from the engine. Alright, so I got this um, uh, 22 millimeter wrench on the crankshaft bolt. So when I turn it, this turns, and we see there's a bolt right here. Oops. See there's a bolt right here to disconnect. So we're going to disconnect that bolt keep turning and uh, then we'll be good to go. That's all the bolts. Alright, it might be hard to see, but there's a little bracket here that holds on the shift cable. So I'm just going to get a wrench on it. And sorry, I know it's kind of in the shadows. Alright, looks like we have a 13 here holding it on. <clears throat> That frees up the wiring harness. Um, but the bracket is still on there. Okay, I found another 13. And there we go. Now the shift bracket can be moved out of the way. With that out of the way, I can finally remove this other electrical connector. I missed one more connector back here. It's kind of hard to see. I'm going to remove these four nuts that hold this side of the transmission to the mount. 17 millimeter. Alright, this plate's kind of getting in the way, so I'm going to take it off. There, now this plate can be moved. And I can get to this last nut right here. All right, next we got this back mount. Um, for whatever reason, there's only one bolt holding it in on this car. There should be three. All right, so we gotta remove this middle cross member. So, there's one bolt holding this on. I'm gonna hit this through. There we go. Okay, so I put a jack with a piece of wood under the transmission to hold it up so when we take all these uh, mounts off, it's not gonna fall on my head. Okay, we got these two 17s. Right, we got one more in the back, it's 19. Whoa. Okay, um, I'm gonna remove the bell housing bolts next. I'm gonna do the bottom ones first.
Alright, we just got these top bell housing bolts. Okay, this is the last one. That's it, she's out. Thanks for watching.